Next, I want to welcome on, you know what I'm going to do, right? There's this event about um, empowering women, okay? I want to invite a very empowering woman to the stage, all right? Naomi is going to be talking about sickle cell and thalassemia. Welcome, Naomi. So sorry about this, I'm sort of just um, being put on the spot here, but yeah, I'm just going to briefly talk about sickle cell. So in the, it mainly affects the Black and African Caribbean community. In the UK there's about 20,000 people, but the statistics aren't that clear at the moment. I am one of those 20,000 people that suffer with this sickle cell. There's not really talked about in the media. We don't have that much funding about it, but it's something that affects us as a community. And the only way we're going to get our voices heard is by coming together as a community and making it heard. One of the ways that we can do this is by donating blood. Sickle cell people, predominantly us, myself, rely on transfusions just to get through a normal month. I have about eight units of blood every six to eight weeks just so I can stand here in front of you. If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have children, I wouldn't be able to have fun with my family. You know, this could be a completely different sort of conversation. A lot of people here know my mum, they know the family. You know, if you're going to support my mum, then support her by going out there to the community and giving blood to ourselves. Less than 1% of people who give blood are from the black community. Less than 1%. We don't even make a full percentage up. And yet, if, you, if your mum needs it, your dad needs it, your grandparents, your daughter, your grandbabies, you'd want them to receive it, so we just need to give it. I'm not going to go on about how much sickle cell affects everyone, because one way or another, it's going to impact on every single person in this room whether it's because you know my mum and her life's being put on hold because I'm in hospital having a crisis, whether it's because your grandbaby's going to have it, because it's the fastest growing haematology disease in the UK at the moment. Yet you won't see it on TV, you're not going to read about it much in the BBC or anything like that, we're just going to have to talk about it. And sometimes we can be our worst enemies because all we do, we get up and we get on with it. That's what we do. We get up and you get on with it. But by doing that, we're not talking about it. So I just wanted to come here, talk about it a little bit. I know there's not much time left and we all want to go home, but it is really important. So thank you. <laughs> I just want to say how proud I am of Naomi for coming up here and saying that. Tonight it wasn't going to be about me or Nai, it was about a much wider range of people. And the other person I asked to come and speak to you tonight was really willing to do it, but unfortunately he's ill himself. So it strikes you down at any time, but we are a community and I'm confident that as a community we are going to make a big difference. So thank you again, thank you.